Good morning. Uh, today I'm going to Brooklyn, specifically Williamsburg, to uh, visit a few coffee shops that I really like, and I want to introduce all of them to you. And uh, because I study a lot recently from Coursera or edX because I'm doing some Python coding programs and I'm also learning data analysis and uh, business management. Um, so I've been taking a lot of courses and uh, I either choose to go to a library or a really nice coffee shop that was good Wi-Fi good music and some outlets so I'm gonna take you guys to a few of those coffee shops today to get to Williamsburg it usually takes 30 to 40 minutes from Queens for me and it was a really really early morning so it was actually still cold and there were not a lot of people on the train and I got there earlier the first place I went to that day was partners coffee and this one is actually one of my favorites because how spacious it is but unfortunately, even though I get there pretty early that day, it was still so packed because it was a working day and everybody just wants to get their job done. So I just got my matcha latte and sit outside a little bit to see where else I wanted to go that day. One thing that I really love about Brooklyn is actually its personality because every single store has its own decoration and its own energy and you can see art, you can see, you can feel the culture of Brooklyn everywhere. That's why I love walking in the area a lot and then to just soak yourself into the area and then to experience the art and everything. And occasionally, I also go to this really cute bookstore in Williamsburg. I feel like nobody can really reject a bookstore or a good book. And I just love this kind of bookstore that are a little bit crowded. It makes you feel so homey. And after the bookstore, I came to this place called Copper Mock Coffee because I heard that they have actors here. And I have been <laughs> obsessed with actors a little bit after coming back from LA. And here it is. At that time, I was editing my first vlog ever. It was about the trip that I went on in San Francisco. And uh, it was such a grind because I was not used to how to edit at all. That's why I looked so serious. <laughs> to just have a small walk and some refreshing air, I came to this tiny Japanese grocery store.
So this is one of my favorite ones. It has the coolest rooftop. And they have they also have really good coffee. To be on. Now that I have learned some Spanish, I realized that was supposed to be devotion, so I apologize for that. But look at that window. That is literally one of the best things that I've ever seen in a coffee shop. If you guys ever have a chance to check this place out, please order the coffee because they taste absolutely amazing. On the way to the subway to go home, I found this little store on the street accidentally and it is just so wholesome, it's such a cute place. It's full of living vibes, plants, accessories, little furniture that just make you feel happy. This is the end of this video and uh, today was just a very very slow paced vlog. I've been to three coffee shops, a bookstore, some little really cute stores that I have never been before. And it feels like I didn't do much this day but you know, sometimes life is just like that. We don't have to do too much every day, we don't have to hurry every day. And I hope we can all enjoy small moments, slow days like this. And thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time.